Hey everyone, I'm Michael, and I'm going to be talking about org mode and the indie web. I am located in the San Francisco Bay Area, where I'm a developer as well as a longtime Emacs user. So, I maintain a personal website using org mode. If you're watching this talk, I'm going to guess that you probably are too. Um, for anybody who isn't, let me explain exactly what I mean by that. I have a static website. I author the pages in org mode's markup language, otherwise known as orgdown. I use the org export facility to transcode that markup to HTML. And then I uh, just use rsync to push the resulting HTML pages up to a VPS. Um, I like the workflow. It's uh, familiar to me uh, as a coder. Uh, I get to use familiar tools like Git and Make. Um, pushing the site to a uh, publishing and then pushing the site to a local test server is, is just Make. Um, pushing it to the, the live site is is just Make prod. That said, certain problems made themselves apparent with this arrangement pretty quickly. Um, commenting was one. Um, it's very difficult to support commenting on a static website. I've got no database, uh, I have no, no real server, uh, and so on. Um, yes, of course, there is discussed and other third-party services that will do this for you, but I was uncomfortable at outsourcing that, that job. And it was more than just comments. There was a general sense of isolation. Um, there's no connection to places like Reddit or Mastodon or Twitter, uh, you know, where all the people are. Um, I guess you can post, then tweet a link to it, but suppose somebody responds to your tweet. Now you've got a conversation going on on Twitter that you're a visitor, a non-Twitter using visitor to your site would uh, be completely disconnected from. I have, I am seeing people uh, using Reddit effectively as the, the, the comment section uh, for their sites, but unless you've got an audience, you know, the size of, of Derek's or Amos's, uh, I don't think that's really feasible either. Now, after casting about for some time, I stumbled upon something called the IndieWeb. Um, in their own words, the IndieWeb is a community of independent and personal websites connected by simple standards based on the principles of owning your domain and using it as your primary identity, publishing on your own site and optionally syndicating elsewhere, and owning your data. Uh, I would describe it as a collection of individuals who've chosen to own their, their own platforms um, alongside a loosely specced set of standards that tie those sites together. And it's really those standards that make the IndieWeb more than just a call for everybody to uh, go back to the aughts and, and blog on, on their own sites. Now, this presentation isn't going to focus on the IndieWeb as such. It's more about using org mode to put your site on the IndieWeb. Um, I'm a little limited by time here, so I'm going to focus on just one of those protocols, and that's web mentions. So what's a web mention? Let's begin with uh, the inveterate Alice, who has a website and has posted content to that site. Her old friend Bob comes along, notices that content, and wishes to say something about it. He posts to his site, and his publication software will, if it supports web mentions, will notice that he's mentioned Alice's post. At that point, his publication software reaches out to Alice's site, asks for the mentioned document, and will examine it to see if Alice advertises an endpoint at her site capable of receiving web mentions. In this case, it does. So Bob's publishing software does it. Um, at the end of the day, a web mention is really just an HTTP POST request with two parameters, a uh, source and a target. On receipt, Alice's server will reach out to Bob's site, request the document that contains the mention, and validate it, decide whether or not uh, she wants to accept the, the web mention. Um, in this case, it's legit, it's accepted, and Alice chooses to make a note, uh, to update her content, to make a note of the fact that it was mentioned by Bob. 
Now, a couple of things to note here. Uh, the first is that this is effectively decentralized commenting. Both parties own their content, and there's no third party involved, trusted or otherwise. Now, at this point, you might object that, well, as the owner of a statically generated site, I have essentially none of the infrastructure I need to, to implement this. I, uh, I have no server uh, above and beyond Apache. I can't really, uh, I have no database. Um, I guess you could send web mentions with curl, but now uh, to do web mention endpoint discovery, you're going to be parsing arbitrary HTML. It's, it's a lot of work. That's okay. Um, there are uh, sites out there that offer web mentions as a service. So let's uh, take a look at how that goes. Uh, we return to our, our original example. Alice continues to advertise an endpoint capable of receiving web mentions, but it's no longer on her site. It's at webmention.io. Bob is uh, essentially in the same position, but he now has in his world a third-party site called Telegraph. When Bob wants to publish, uh, he no longer needs to go through all the work of sending web mention and uh, of, of carrying out web mention endpoint discovery. He sends one API request to Telegraph, effectively saying, please send a web mention for me. Asynchronously, Telegraph.io is going to retrieve Alice's post, do web mention endpoint discovery, and send the web mention on Bob's behalf, except this time he's sending it to webmention.io. Now, at some arbitrary point in the future, Alice can ask webmention.io, hey, do I have any new web mentions? And if she does, she may choose to uh, update her content uh, and publish. Okay, so let's code this up. Now, I'm recording this talk about a month ahead of time, and I haven't been able to put together a little demo project. Uh, hopefully I can hack something together uh, before this, this video streams. But uh, in the meantime, I'd like to imagine a little test site. Uh, it has a single page. Maybe we'll call it uh, index.org. Uh, and we're going to publish it. To, we're going to export it to a, a subdirectory of our project directory simply called dub dub dub. Um, so the entry point to org, the org export system is the function org publish, whose doc string helpfully says it publishes all projects. Uh, the set of all projects is defined by the variable org publish project a list, which is a very flexible association list that lets you define what files are in your project, how you wish to export them, where they're going to go, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So great. Um, this is actually pretty straightforward. We just give ourselves a little elisp file and a single function. I'll call it publish. Um, and all it will do is define org public publish project a list and invoke org publish all. At that point, uh, exporting is a one-liner. Uh, we just invoke Emacs, load up our, our site.l file and invoke the publish function. And if we want to publish uh, you know, to the live server, that's just another one-liner of our site. So that's the publication framework. Now let's take a look at sending web mentions. Um, the idea is that we're going to get our fingers into the publication process. No when we see a web mention uh, in the process of exporting our, our org down and write it out to disk for uh, sending later on. Um, now, I didn't want to send a web mention for every single link in the post. I wanted this to be an intentional choice. And it turns out there are different sorts of web mentions you can make on a page. For instance, if you add the CSS class you in reply to to your link, uh, the recipient will interpret this web mention as a reply. Uh, there are similar CSS classes for uh, likes, reposts, and generalized mentions. Um, when the recipient gets your web mention, if they want to know who's talking to them, they need to parse your page and look for DOM elements with certain CSS classes uh, defined by the, the, the protocol as well. 
So I'm a visual thinker, uh, so I kind of drew out the process of publication and exactly where we're going to uh, get our fingers into this. So this is me invoking Make, uh, which of course fires up Emacs. Just as before, uh, my publish function will define org publish project a list, with one difference. Um, there is a an attribute, a property in the list called publishing function. We're going to need to customize that. Uh, as usual, we then call we kick off the process by calling org publish all. Um, org publish all will invoke your publishing function for each page. Uh, and it will hand to your publishing function for each page uh, the name of the file you're publishing, where it's going, and a parameter entitled plist. Um, this is not super well documented. There are points in, in the docs that refer to this as a communication channel. Uh, what I discovered by simply reading the code was that it's a property list that is initialized for each invocation of your publication function. The initial properties are uh, inherited from, from your project, but uh, you are free to add properties as you go to communicate between different portions of the publication process. My publication function really does one thing, and that's simply swap out the, the HTML template uh, that's passed to Org Publish 2. Now, in order to take note of each web mention that I send, I took advantage of another org mode extension point called uh, uh, new, defining new link types. So and here you can see I've created a new link type called reply. One of the attributes that you can attach to this is uh, the function that is used to export your link. Um, and I've deleted the code for, for mentions, likes, and reposts. Um, if you look at my export function, you can see that it ultimately yields the appropriate HTML uh, for this link. But before that, it calls a little helper function that will pull out the actual target URL of the link and shove it into this communication channel under the property name spiff slash mentions. So org publish to is really the workhorse of, of the publication uh, process. The first thing it's going to do is trans code from uh, the parsed org down, uh, which is an intermediate representation known as org elements, uh, to HTML. Um, and in particular, for every one of my new links that I'm using to mark uh, web mentions, it's going to invoke my little export function. And so as we work our way through the post, I'm going to accumulate all the web mentions that I've made in the property list. The second step is to actually render the final, the, the HTML document, and that's where my specialized template comes in. All I do there is use it to get my authorship information uh, into the page. And then the last step is called finalization. Uh, at this point, we have the rendered HTML document, and org mode uh, gives you an extension point here where you can do arbitrary post-processing on that document. I arguably abuse it to uh, retrieve all the web mentions I've made out of the communication channel and write them to disk. So at this point, when we type make, uh, we wind up with the rendered HTML for our org down document, along with uh, a little text file in which we've recorded all the web mentions that need to be sent. Uh, the next step is to send said web mentions. This is surprisingly easy uh, in Emacs list. This is my actual implementation. Um, I use the request.l package to talk to Telegraph. Um, and at this point, we really don't need to add a lot to our little site elisp file. Um, I sketched out a send web mentions uh, implementation that just goes through in a loop. Uh, and calls my send web mention function. Uh, and now publication becomes a two-step process. Uh, first the org publish, then sending web mentions. Okay, so I realize this has been a, a bit of a whirlwind. 
Uh, so where are we now? Uh, we have uh, a, a sample site that we can publish and have send web mentions. And we've done it with just Emacs, org mode, a little lisp, and a make file. Uh, if you'd like to see more, I've put my library up on GitHub. It has logic for both sending and receiving web mentions, as well as something that in on the indie web is called Posse, which is uh, an acronym standing for publish on your own site, syndicate elsewhere. Uh, what that means is that you turn this, the publication step uh, from merely publishing new content to your site to also replicating it to places like Twitter and Facebook and so forth. Uh, and also, uh, when people like, comment, and, and retweet uh, your content, that gets fed back to your site where you can display it as comments. In terms of the future, I feel like I'm at a decision point. Uh, org mode is admirably flexible, and I'm confident that I can continue to add support for indie web protocols. On the other hand, it is so flexible that the process of figuring out which extension points to use in any situation is very challenging. When I started down this path, my mindset was keep it simple and let's just see how far I could get with org mode. And I feel like I might be bumping up against the limitations of, of that approach now. Uh, thank you very much.